Righto. If you're the proud owner of a Welsh and Allen otoscope like this little beauty here, and you don't have, or the original 72300 nickel cadmium, yes, nickel cadmium rechargeable battery is dead, which it will be because this is, unit is about 20 years old, and you don't want to spend 900 bucks on a new one, and you think that's no problem, I'll just use the C-cell adapter like this. You put that in, screw it together, put your head on, turn it on, and all you get is an extremely feeble light like this. And you think, well, what do I do? Because what happens is these corrode and it, it creates more resistance in the tube than, it, than there should be. But you think, well, how can I get more voltage out of two one and a half size C cells by the seashore? Well, you can't do that. But what you can do is you can do a little bit of a hack and use one of these bad boys. This is a 4.0, 4.2 volt 18650 battery. Now, the reason I've got one of these is because I just pulled apart a Dyson battery pack and uh, you get six of these in a Dyson battery pack. You can buy them individually on eBay for a couple of dollars each. You have to buy a charger. But what I've done is I just picked up a cardboard tube, you cut it like so. Wrap it around your 18650 battery, and what I'm doing is I'm creating a basically a, a, a bit of a of an increased diameter to match the diameter of a C cell. So, like they say in cooking shows, here's one I prepared earlier. This was two cardboard tubes. I've even written 18650 to C cell adapter. So I slide that in there, but on the inside it's going to look like this. How do you get the voltage from the negative there and the positive there up to the end? All I did was I got a old cork, drilled a hole through it, put a bit of wire to conduct. So that goes through there, that goes through there. You can see that that is flush negative at the bottom. Turn my voltmeter on, negative at the bottom, positive at the top. Three point. 87 volts. So this battery needs a bit of a charge, but what I can now do is I can slide that into the C-cell adapter, put the head back on, which fits perfectly, turn this bad boy on, and that is now super bright. So there's a really, really simple little hack to all you medical folk out there that have an otoscope, a Welsh and Allen, or probably any other brand. You don't want to buy the ridiculously overpriced uh, nickel cadmium 72300 battery and but you want to keep your otoscope because they're a super handy bit of kit this is a way of using readily available equipment you don't need any fancy 3d printed object you just need a cardboard tube from a from a toilet roll and if you're not using toilet paper you're a better person than I am and I use two of those they cost you nothing the batteries you can buy on eBay or wherever for a couple of dollars, and this is a perfect solution. Alright, thanks for watching.